Hey golf people, just made it out to the course. I've got a club that I haven't swung since March, but in March, I really fell in love with it. Mizuno released an incredible Pro Series line with the 225s, the 223s, and the 221s. Well, today, I've got my favorites here, the 223s. You might have seen me test these indoors, but we're finally taking them outdoors here for nine holes of golf. Our over-under is plus three. Let's see what these things can do, guys. And this is a fully Japanese club here today, guys. I've got the NS Pro from Nippon. That is made in Japan, Stiff Flex Modus. As you know, I am changing irons here and I'm getting towards the end of my testing where I'm gonna choose one set of irons to play with for another year. And these Mizuno 223s are definitely in the running. I've got 128. Now today, I am playing four through gap wedge and these lofts are much more traditional lofts than I've been playing lately. The three iron is gonna be at 22 degrees. Your seven iron is gonna be at 32 degrees. My current set is about three degrees stronger, just so you know. So I'm gonna be hitting probably at least one club less here today than normal, but I'd potentially be willing to give up that extra distance if I can gain a little bit more control, a little bit more stopping power, and that buttery smooth feel that Mizuno irons are known for. We actually have a, a fairly easy pin position here in the front, so let's attack. All right, I'm going nine iron here. Ooh, it's nice and high. We got our first birdie putt of the day, guys. Well, guys, that's a very good start here early in the morning. You're not gonna get a lot of roll today. We've got a lot of dew on the ground, so I'm gonna have to really swing these clubs well. Now, when I was trying these clubs earlier in the year, I was really shocked that I didn't like the 225s over the 223s. I thought the 223 was just a better all-around club. It seemed to be just as long just as forgiving and it's going to be more workable because this is a fully forged club it's not hollow body design like the 225 so again nothing against the 225 at all but for me i just seem to really like the 223s and i was shocked at it well, let's see if we can roll a putt in Hold it. <laughs> that was a nasty pull that first putt was so bad. I actually switched putters here today, but we're not gonna talk about that. We're gonna talk about irons. And um, getting back to the loft situation, what I'm definitely looking to find out is can a mere mortal like me play these types of clubs? A guy who doesn't have a big swing speed, I don't hit the ball 300 yards, can I game a club like this? It's gonna be interesting to find out. Good start so far. Let's go to hole number two. That wasn't a very long drive either. It just didn't quite get the lift. So it's gonna give us an opportunity to put a long iron in our hands here. How long? Let's see. 171. I think I'm gonna go five iron because it's also uphill. I've got water on the right, a bunker on the left. So this will be a really good test to see control. And usually it's the higher irons in a set that are a little harder to hit, especially when you get into these players' irons. You're not getting that same forgiveness you would get with the hollow body design or with a big cavity back either. These are a very small, thin cavity backed iron, but you're also gonna get a really nice top line there as well. So that's always the trade off with these things. But that cavity back, pretty shallow. You know, just a little extra help and not much. So let's see how the five iron feels. It'll be interesting. So that illustrates my point perfectly there. I didn't quite get the forgiveness in terms of direction and distance on a little slight miss hit there. I hit it a little thin and maybe a little bit heel side, I guess. Well guys, coming up here, it's not looking so good. <laughs> Looks like we might, might not have carried this hazard, which would be a real shame. Yep, it's not here. So we're gonna have to go back and uh, have to make a good up and down to hopefully save a bogey here. Well, we're gonna have a putt at it. Well, my ball striking is definitely gonna have to improve if I'm gonna go low with these clubs today. And it's still early, we got time. But it'd be nice to save this bogey putt right now. Let's find out if we can do it. Straighter putt. Oh no! <laughs> Well guys, we're gonna be behind the eight ball early here. We're plus two already after two. We got a par three though, that can change it real quick. Let's do it. All right, now we are into the sun a little bit, so you may not be able to see it, but this is a tough pin position today on number three. We've got a bunker 
right in front on the left hand side and that's where the pin is it's cut back left so we're gonna go six iron here we've got to have a good strike well guys there you go second birdie opportunity of the day let's make one now <laughs> Oh man, I thought that was in. Let me tell you, I like that shot though. I love the trajectory, the height I got on that thing. The stopping power with a six iron, that thing rolled down about no more than 10 feet, maybe even eight feet. Really, really good. A little piece of trivia for you guys. What is the Mizuno logo symbol? Do you know what that is? Leave me a comment down below. I'll tell you at the end of this episode. Well, we've got 125 here, actually perfect position even after a poor drive. I'm going to actually go smooth nine here, okay? Well, I think that was the perfect club. We are exactly pin high. I definitely didn't want to come up short because we had a bunker here. We had water here. I'm just a little bit past the hole actually, but I will take that. Now, let me again show you the pitch mark here. That's the pitch mark. This is a nine iron. Look at that spin. That's nice. So again, another benefit of a player's iron like this with more traditional lofts is it's gonna have much more sticking power on the greens. It's time to make a putt, what do you think? Little tip for you beginners, putts generally break towards the water, almost always. Not always, but almost always. Oh, I thought we had another one. It's tough with these bumpy greens though. That's been a difficulty the last few weeks filming the show, is these greens got punched pretty recently. All right, so I really can't complain here, guys. Three out of four greens and regulations. We've had three birdie plots, yet we are still two over thanks to that double bogey on two. But this hole's a par five. is gonna give us another chance to have a long iron in our hand here on that second shot. Let's see what we do. All right, pretty good drive there. Again, not getting any roll in this wet weather. But what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna take the four iron out. This is the highest iron in this set. They do not make a three iron. The reason I'm taking a four iron here is because it's really narrow up here. I've got trees on the left and the right. Just to give you an idea of what this four iron looks like at a dress, you see no cavity the way these clubs are shaped. And the offset, there's a little there, but pretty minimal with a player's iron. Gosh, that got up in the air so nice. Yeah, so that little cavity back is what gives it that nice lift. They move some weight down there towards the heel. That's the difference between a muscle back and a little bit of a cavity. Really liked the way that felt though. For a four iron, first time ever swinging it, I didn't even swing it at the range today, felt really, really good. And uh, great feedback, of course, like all Mizuno irons are gonna have. So we've got 128 here. I'm gonna go nine iron. I'm gonna have to step on this one a little bit because it's slightly uphill and we got a little wind against us, but. I think it should be the right club if we hit it well. And it's high. Felt pretty good. It might be a little short. Not short of the green, but maybe short of the hole. We should have a putt. That makes us four for five greens in regulation. I will take that any day of the week, guys. It's better than a lot of clubs I've been testing lately. All right, guys. Well, yeah, we are a little short again, and I just didn't quite make perfect contact with that strike there but uh for this style of club a player's iron these things are pretty forgiving you've got to be kidding me one more roll one more roll boy oh boy we've been close on three occasions today we could be one under just as easily as we are two over. But that's what we are, that's golf, heading to six. By the way, again, spin exceptional really with these clubs. My pitch mark was literally parallel to the ball. So I got uh, maybe a little bounce forward and it sucked back just a tad. In terms of performance, I mean, this is a performance club. Well, I tried to hit a fade there on this hole, but I ended up double crossing myself, so I've got a tough lie. That's pretty nasty. Luckily, I'm clear of this tree here, and I'm clear in terms of a shot. So on this lie, on a where my feet are gonna be below the ball, it's gonna come out and kinda wanna turn left over on me. So I'm gonna hit a little extra club here because we're in the rough, but let's see how these clubs do out of the rough. Again, having a player's iron like this Mizuno Pro 223 is going to give you a little better chance usually getting out of the rough because it cuts through just a little bit better. We've got 181 too, so we are out there. 
Like I said, I've got to go an extra club here. Normally I'd hit five, but I'm going to hit four. We got water on the right, bunkers all over the place, so we got to be accurate too. Oh, it's out. It got out of there. I can't say that was the best shot I've ever hit, but under the circumstances, we are not in a bunker and we're not in the water and that's a win. Oh boy. Well, we surrender another stroke there, but that wasn't the Mizunos. That was uh, the short game and the driver right there. We are now plus three, so we've got to hold on tight. We've got a par three, par five, par four to finish it. Let's do well by these clubs. All right, guys, par three here, 157. I'm gonna go seven iron. I just hit that thin. I'm gonna hit another one here. I'm not gonna count this shot one way or the other, but I'd just like to see making good content. What's the difference between a thin shot and a well-struck ball? Much better, <laughs> much higher. And <laughs> probably 15 yards different. Now here's the result, guys. Here's my first ball. I'm a little short, still nice and on line here. And there's my second shot, pin high, actually maybe a yard or two past the pin. And I'll tell you, when you hit it well, you can feel it, you can hear it, and there's an instant immediate feedback with these clubs. These are the types of clubs that make you a better player if you use them. When I was younger, I switched to the MP33 blades because I wanted to work on my ball striking. If you really want to improve at golf, sometimes it's better to play a slightly harder club. Well guys, four over, that is disappointing. It's the short game letting us down though. I mean, that seven iron, also a bad swing. So two bad swings and the short game kind of letting us down today, but uh, the clubs themselves feel really good. So again, cannot fault the performance of these 223s in the least. In fact, these things are spec monsters in terms of the spin I'm getting, in terms of the feel I'm getting, the sound the looks, the feel, all of it. Just been a couple of bad strokes here today that have really made the difference. We got a par five here. This is the hardest hole on the course, but hey, golf isn't meant to be easy. It's meant to be a challenge. Now I'll tell you what, the gapping of these clubs really ideal for the way my bag is set up at least, and probably a lot of your bags as well, I would think. My three hybrid sits at 19 degrees. The four iron here at 22 degrees, so it's a three degree gap. That's really nice. The pitching wedge is at 46 degrees, so it's perfect for my 50, 54, 58 scenario with my Vokies. So if distance is not your problem, you're really gonna like the way these clubs flow. It's really the perfect flow in terms of a gap. Hold it a little bit. All right, guys, well, we've got 133 here, but a massive bunker in front that I cannot afford to hit. All right, so I am gonna go eight iron, which is, should be like a 145 club, but I'm just gonna hit a nice smooth shot, make sure we carry that bunker. Should be good. Got some good action on that thing out of the rough even. Usually in the rough you don't get much spin, but that thing really checked up good. It actually took it a little left, so we've got a longer putt than I wanted, but we've got another birdie putt. So yeah, as I'm walking up the hole, this is the bunker I was trying to avoid, and we are long. We're probably 10 yards long, but I will take that. I will definitely take that because it's an uphill putt, and uh, where we landed actually was a lot better. We landed about here. So it just took a little left turn on this big hill, which you probably can't see on the camera. At any rate, we still have a putt here for birdie. If we could drain it, it would be really nice. We kind of deserve one, don't we? Just don't want to drop today. Well guys, real good drive there. We've got 120 in. Now before I hit this shot with my pitching wedge, let me tell you who I think these clubs are for. I think these clubs are definitely for lower handicaps, as low as scratch golfers and touring pros, all the way up to maybe a 12 handicap. I think that is the sweet spot for these clubs. Now, again, if you're looking to improve, maybe you're a 15, 16, somewhere in that range, and you just wanna work on your ball striking as well, 
This could also be a potentially good option, but really I think these clubs are meant for the lower handicappers out there, but they're pretty darn forgiving, let me tell you. I really do think this is the Goldilocks club in this range of Mizuno Pros. The 223s to me just pack the best punch of all of them. The blades, the 221s, a little hard to hit. The 225s, a little bit more forgiving, a little stronger, but performance-wise, I just think these are better with spin and everything else, control and feel just so, it's wonderful. I mean, it doesn't get much better than a Mizuno Forged Club, guys. Let's end it strong here, and uh, let's see if we can hit our number. We gotta have a birdie. could be really, really good. I'd say we're due to make one, guys, but whether I do or not today, these clubs, they're better than the score. That's for sure. Guys, it wasn't meant to be, but I hope you enjoyed this one. By the way, the answer to that quiz question about the Mizuno logo, it's a bird. Check this out, can you see it? If you like this one, guys, hit subscribe. And I've got a couple of other videos, some irons I've been testing. One of these sets of irons is going in my bag real soon here, guys. And we've got a few more iron sets to test, so stay tuned. And I'll catch you back here very soon on another edition of Let's Play Through.